Hello everybody, this is Dan Grady and thank you for joining me on this tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create custom ink splatters like the ones you see here in Adobe Illustrator. Now of course there's tons of resources online where you can download uh, ink brushes and different things. I, there's actually some ink splatters that come stock in Adobe Illustrator where you can just brush them on. Um, the problem with those I think is since they are so common that thousands of people are using these exact same brushes and are getting the exact same results and that's really good if you are on a tight schedule and you need to get something done for a client but as an artist that's just not really cool because it's not your own and you're not making it yourself and there's it's so easy to create these from scratch in Adobe Illustrator that to me, this is the best way of doing it. Um, and then nobody else will have ink splatter like yours. How cool are you? Okay, so what we are going to do to create these custom ink splatters is we're going to start with a shape. So I'm just going to create an ellipse by hitting L and drag out an ellipse. doesn't need to be perfect because it's going to be an ink splatter eventually, so it could be a little oblong, I guess. And I'm going to release. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our liquefaction tools, um, specifically the uh, crystallize tool, which um, depending on which version of Illustrator you're using, you're going to find it in different places, but it'll be in the tool panel. You'll eventually find it. It's the crystallize tool. What we're going to do is we're going to take this over to our ellipse. If you need to change the shape of your liquefaction tool, you could hold down Alt and drag but I'm just going to keep it about like that. If your crosshairs in the center of the tool are inside the shape, it's going to whoop, it's going to blow it out like that. If it's on the outside, it's going to suck it in towards the center. But what we want to do is we want to blow it out like that. Now, it's not going to look really good if we hold it and drag. That's normally kind of what I would do in most cases, but for this ink splatter, I'm just going to go close to the edge and tap or click. I'm using a Wacom tablet, so I'm just kind of touch touching it um, just to create some shape shooting out of here. Now, at this point, does it, it kind of looks like an ink splatter, but it's still really harsh, I guess you could say. As you could see, these lines are just too sharp. Um, it needs to be a little bit more liquidy. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select our shape and we're going to go up to effect, click on effect, go to distort and transform and the one we are looking for specifically is the roughen effect. I love this effect. I use it all the stinking time. Um, Illustrator creates such clean shapes that eventually you could just look at someone's art and know that, that, that it's vector, that it's from Illustrator, just because how perfect it makes everything. And that's not always desirable. So I like the roughen effect because it'll create little deformations to make stuff not look so clean. So go ahead and click on that. And the roughen dialog box is going to pop up. What we want to do is we want to make our size really small, like one or two even. You could hit tab to go down to the next one. Um, our detail, oh, let's, let's make sure to click our preview so you can see what we're actually doing out here. All right, you can see the transformation starting to take place. Um, let's go to smooth so it's not too harsh. I'm going to drag out this little arrow so we can see the transformations. And just get it to where you think it starts to look like an ink splatter, <laughs> for lack of better description, or a tear. Um, I'm going to put it about right here. It's probably not going to look as good as the original one I did over here for you guys, but for time's sake, we're just going to do this. All right, now what we want to do is, you can see if you look carefully, um, the anchor points do not follow the actual shape anymore since we applied a transformation. So what we want to do, sorry about that, I just hit the wrong key. What we want to do is go up to Object, Expand Appearance, and now all of our anchor points are lined up to the outside of the shape, which is what we want, because now we can transform it. 
Now we're getting a pretty cool looking ink splatter here. Um, it, if you want to make it a little different from this, you could even take the direct selection tool and just grab one or two anchor points and hold it. You can hold shift down to drag it out so I could create some drips here. What else, whatever else you want to do to make it your own. That looks kind of cool. Okay. Now, if you want to make some more little splatters, what you could do is you could just make a copy of this by dragging out, holding alt, shrink it down to really small by scaling it with S. And you could place these guys around it here a little bit, make another copy, scale it. Since these are so small, people won't see all the details and they won't realize that it's the exact same shape. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to connect that to put some of these guys alt by holding alt. I'm going to copy it. There. That's looking pretty cool. Now, of course, there's so much you can do uh, with these ink splatters in your design. Um, over here, I created a few beforehand, and I changed the colors of them, added some transparencies, and I typed out grunge. And I actually just used this uh, a standard font on this, just a bold font. But what I did is I applied some of those same techniques by using the liqui liquefaction tool and also the roughen effect. And I got this pretty cool look right here. So using those techniques, go ahead and practice your ink splatters and um, see what happens. Of course, also you could change the color if you wanted this to be blood or something cool. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I'll see you next time.